Hey guys, it's Stu. Today we're going to do a quick video of how to make a PVC snowboard rail. You can probably use for skiing or skateboarding as well. To build this rail, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need four of these wooden 2x4 wooden planks. This one's 8 foot long. You're going to need two of these PVC flow class tubes. They've got a diameter of 3 or 4 centimeters and you're going to need them to be the same length as your beam of wood. You're going to need a drill and a pack of screws and then the optional thing you're going to need is one of these angle brackets. And what that's going to do is that's going to help hold the legs of your rail from shaking. These are optional if you do with that. What you're going to need to do is you're going to make a ladder style frame like I've got here. So you'll have one 2x4 on the top, one 2x4 on the bottom, and you're going to need to cut some little supports in between. Personally, I've got my support legs at 20 centimeters. So, the last thing we need to measure out is the legs. I've measured mine out at around about two feet. Um, just draw a little line here and we'll just cut those. Once you get your legs cut, you're going to want to screw the frame together and then you're going to pop it upside down and you can then put your legs in like this. It's much easier if the rail is upside down to just screw them in and then you'll flip the rail the right way up to put the PVC in. Once you've got your legs screwed in and your frames all screwed together, you're going to need to pop your two bits of PVC on the top together like this. You want to push them as close together as possible so they support each other. And I'll do some more information in a second about the exact screwing of those in. Once they're attached on the top, you're going to grab your little angle brackets here and you're just going to put them between the legs and your supports. I'm going to put a screw in there and a screw in there. the other side and what that should do is just stop when you push on the side of your rail stop the rail snapping off of these legs and tipping over which is what you don't want. Now that you've built your frame you need to attach your PVC so the first thing I've done is I've just taped my PVC on into the right place. Now you've got your PVC in place you're just going to drill it in. So to start with we're just going to drill using one of these big wide drill bits just through that top layer there, not down into here. You should now have two little holes which you can put a screw through. So now from above that's nice and smooth. If we come in here you can see that, that screw is all into the bottom. Finally, you're just going to keep doing that, so we've done that on the end. We'll maybe do that four times on the rail on each tube, so one up there, kind of one in the middle, one a bit further down, and one on the other end. Obviously, as you're going through, the screws will stick down into the frame, so think about where you want to put them. I put mine as close to the legs as possible, so sort of just in there, so you're not going to get stabbed.